Hi, so today I'm going to be working on my garage door. This garage door right here. The issue I'm having with it is that it's stuck. When you try to open or close it, whether it be with the garage door opener or manually, you have to put a lot of pressure, a lot of effort to push it down or to pull it open. Last time I had to close the door to wrap up the day and go inside the house, I had to put a lot of pressure to close it. I hear some squeaking noise and I also had to use my leg to finally close it, right? Now, today, I'm going to address the issue. I think I know what the issue is and I'm going to show you what I think it is. And then, before we start working on it, let's make sure, full disclaimer, you're dealing with a garage door here, which has springs to help lift the garage door open. These springs have high tension. If they break or if they uh, unhook, they can go either way and they might hurt you. You want to be very careful with that, right? So I'm going to show you the safety measures that I'm taking to try to be as safe as I can, all right? In the process also, I decided that I'm going to be changing the rollers here, all right? So let's get the job started. I'm going to show you everything step by step. Okay, so this is why I think the issue is. If you see here, this um, pulley wheel is actually hitting this here. It's actually stuck there. It actually cut it a little bit, if you can see. So it looks like the bearing here is bent, you know, toward this direction here, right? It's bent. You can see it's a little out of shape here. So I'm pretty sure that's the reason. And it's not only happening on this side, it's also happening on the other side too, right here. You see, same issue. That's the part I'm gonna replace, all right? I'm gonna have to figure out how to reduce the tension on this spring I have to open the door first, right? Keep the door open somehow with the tension released all the way before I actually start working on it. Very important, all right? Let's make sure we take care of that. All right, that's the other spring. All right, so you can see how much effort I'm gonna put to pull open the garage door. I'm gonna show it to you right now. We're gonna have to figure out how to push the door open. Okay, as you can see there, push it all the way up. And then we're gonna have to find a way to keep it there because you can see it already released the tension here on this pulley string here. All right, so let's work on that. This is, as you can see, this is very weak. So it's not, it's not gonna be safe. The reason I'm using it now is just to keep the door open so I can measure it and eventually use another piece of wood. I'm gonna cut exactly the height with a little bit more to keep the tension, keep the door open so that I can be safer. All right, I'm gonna show you. Let me get the measuring tape. So I measured 87 and a half inches. I added half an inch extra just to keep it, you know, firm. You don't want it to be too exact. You want to have a little bit of a, of a, of a pressure there to keep the door open, all right? So 87 and a half inches. Solid. All right, so this is what I'm gonna be taking care of. I'm gonna removing, be removing this piece here. All right, and as you can see here, they started to come apart a little bit here. That's the spring. There's no tension, you see? No tension at all. I'm gonna show you over there. This is totally depressed. You see, right here? Totally depressed, right? No tension. You can tell, right? And the other side as well. Totally depressed. No tension. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be starting with these. This is what I think I need. All right. Let's take care of that. All right. So taking off this one. 
as you can see, it's getting loose real quick. See, there's no tension. Important to note. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull this screw here. Let's tap this out and then put this around here. Right? Yeah, there's definitely a problem with it. Yeah, you see? Yeah, definitely something is not right, right? It doesn't go smoothly. Alright, here's the new one. Alright. Got it from Lowe's. I'm not gonna be using this piece. I'm just gonna be using this piece. The new one. There's no play. The new one didn't have a washer, but I'm using the washer from the other one. Yes, that I had before. So yeah, why not? This one's gonna go here. And it's not gonna hit that piece here. Right? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just pull this here, put it here like that, and insert this right here. Put this washer here. And the nut. A different type of bolt. This one is a Phillips. The other one was like the hexagon bolt, you know. Um, so this one I'm gonna have to use. You can use either a flat screwdriver or a Phillips that's big enough. So I'm gonna use this flat to continue to tighten the other side. All right, the flat screwdriver. Even though it's Phillips, you can use a flat steel just to continue to hold it together as you tighten this. All right, should be a couple too tight, I guess. All right, so that's done on this side. And the little play here is fine, as long as it's not hitting this uh, metal piece here. That's fine, you want a little play because that's um, by design, right? Okay, so this one is here. It's good. We're gonna go on the other side now. So if you see here the other side, same idea there, right? Remove it, replace the other one. And just to confirm, there is no tension in the spring. All right, so let's take care of this one. this little, I guess, hook, right? There's a need for it oh, on the other end here. But um, for this, just gonna use this and then the nut. Grab this, this bolt in here, all right? It's gonna go right in here, this whole place. But before then, I will probably just put this in here like that. I'm gonna put the washer. And then the nut. Alright. Then lastly, you have to feed it. You want to make sure that this is on the bottom. The one that hooks up to the door is staying in the bottom part. And you want to just, because the tension is out, so you can just pull the string. And then it's just going to be right. Perfect. Alright, so it's in. This side is done. That side is done. We're pretty much done. Let's test it out. All right, so you see, now this is not touching the metal here. It's not touching the metal, you see the little but that it was hitting there. So this is not touching it, right? So that's good, let's check the other side. Okay, same thing here, it's not touching it. Even though it's closed, it's not touching it. You see, it's not touching it right there. So that's that, tension back on, okay? I know there's a slight tension still, so I'm thinking, Maybe I do need to replace 
the rollers after all. I was gonna do it as an extra step, but maybe I do need to replace the rollers, so I'm gonna do that right now. So from the curve area, about, I wanna say, eight to 10 inches, you wanna have an opening here using a pair of pliers so that you can easily pop out the roller, you know, and then insert it back in. You see what I mean, I'm gonna show you. seems a little longer I don't think that's a problem this is universal so let's, let's find out they come in pair so I need to buy five pairs You don't get your fingers caught in between here. You get, get a pinch, so be careful with that. Put the other one in. Watch your hand here, be very, very careful. Be very cautious here. Very. That's done. That's done. All right. So gotta do this one now. We should go down a little bit more. Here. Again, I'm gonna have to go outside. This side is, I'm going to just need to do the, the last one on this side, right? And I'll do this, exactly the same thing on the other side, exactly the same thing. So for this side though, because it can't reach all the way here, I'm going to have to unbolt this. And now since we're done with this, with these rollers, I'm just going to close this. Sure that there's no way it would escape. Show you. That's the area here that I opened up. I closed, right? I closed it exactly the way it was. That I can, as much as I can tell. All right. So now I'm gonna do this last piece here on the top that I told you about. This one I'm gonna have to close the garage door to do. All right. Okay. 
Here's this one. Just have to remove this and replace it. Right? This one is pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. This one has this one has an extra piece here. This one didn't. So I'm going to be doing the same thing on this side here. I'm going to create an opening roughly 8 to 10 inches below the curve, right? And um, to pop out the uh, the walrus, right? Just like on the other one. And let's take care of that. Go ahead and close it back up, right? This opening here, I'll close it. Yes, that is good. So it's good, perfectly closed up. I'll show you. See right here, this is where we opened it up before. Perfectly closed up. All right, so that's done. So we're pretty much done, really. I'm gonna show how easy it is now to open and close the garage door manually, right? So closing. Opening. And that's it. That's it, wow. So next I'm gonna be using this garage door lubricant to lubricate the moving parts of the garage door, even the, the track rails also. I'll be doing that with this one. All right, let's take care of that. Come to this drawer here, for precise spring. Okay, so now this is in. I'm just gonna spray this here a little bit. So a little bit. And do the same on the other side. Okay, I bring down the garage door and I'll do everything else. And I'll do everything, even the, the middle ones. So I did the bottom one already, all right? I'm gonna do this one here. That's a special deal. I guess I do. Same over here. Ten hinges on the left and right, and I'm going to do the same thing over here with the, the middle ones. So it's starting with this one here. It. Okay, I'm gonna spray it here. Right. It's supposed to make things even more smoother and quieter, so why not, right? Let's take care of that. Mm. 
Then the same on this side. Job done. All right, so I'm gonna close the garage door one more time for this video. It should be much more quieter and easier to close. All right, let's do it. There you have it. Okay, so now I'm gonna have the garage door open to be engaged, okay? So that we get to test the, the garage door opener as well. Now it's engaged, and then uh... absolutely okay. So now let's try opening it up. See how quiet it is. Right? So it's all opened up. So now you can see the garage door opener also opens up the door without any issue. All right, so we can call this job a success. What we did was we replaced the two pulley wheels, the left and the right one, and we decided to go ahead and replace the rollers. There were 10 of them. And then we also lubricated the moving parts of the garage door. And also not to forget the wheels, the track wheels. I also lubricated them. So all right, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe. Thank you.